Hello, welcome back to another Flutter tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing how to create a drop-down list in Flutter using a drop-down button. So let's create a class, model class, company, which has an ID and a name. And that will have a constructor, which takes the ID and the name as input parameters. Now we will write a method that will return a list of companies. So I'm going to name it get companies that will return a company array and first one is let's say apple and second one say google samsung fourth one sony and lg now we are going to get this list inside our main class so that will be a list of companies let's name it companies is equal to company dot get companies and we are going to need another list of drop down items, menu item, which will be of type company. Let's name it drop down items. And uh, another variable to store the selected company. Okay, now I'm overriding the init state. And let's initialize the uh, drop down menu items. So we'll be writing a new method, we'll drop down menu items, so we'll take the companies and the selected company by default it will be, let's set it to the first one, okay, so let's write the method, we'll drop down menu items, so that will return a list of drop down menu items which is of type company and it's going to take the input parameters, the list of companies. And let's declare a variable items equal to new list and let's loop through the companies and add those to the items so items dot add drop down menu item which will take the value which is the company and second one is a child let's set it to a text which will display the company name and now we are going to return the items all right now we will add the drop down button to the ui so the container will have a center widget as a child and a column widget uh, first thing is we are going to add a text which will say select a company and i'm going to add some spacing after that and the third one will be the drop down button which will have a value of selected company and the items will be the drop down menu items and the on change callback we will write a new method on change drop down menu item and let's give a space after that so size box and we will show the value in a text so add the selected company dot name alright now we will write the on change callback which will take the selected company and let's call set state on the selected company is equal to selected company all right now let's uh, restart the app there we have our drop down button but there is some error uh, okay i think i forgot to put a comma all right so let's centralize the uh, widgets so cross ex cross axis alignment dot center and main axis alignment dot center. So when we select each one of those, that is selected and displayed in the text. So that's all about creating a drop down list in Flutter. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And thanks for watching. See you in the next video.